the final for round four of the supercars is about to get underway. Ready to race ball then is on here at Knock Hill. Green light and go, great start from Ovenden, and sadly Vizzle doesn't get away at all as they come down towards the first corner. So it's o O'Donovan then with the advantage, Ovenden gets challenged by Steve Hill, they make contact into the first corner. So Ovenden then loses out as O'Donovan leads the way from Steve Hill, from Ovenden, from Mike Seller as Toehill's into the gravel at the first turn and loses time then to Mark Donnelly. But another perfect start to the race once again for the Irishman Ollie O'Donovan, he leads the way Way as he comes through the gravel section for the first time. Let's see what's going to play out as the drivers come into their joker laps and see whether anybody goes in for the first time. Yes, they do. And that looks like it was uh, the reigning champion of Mark Donnelly who went in for his joker on the first time. Likewise, Derek Tovell, so those two drivers going through. And sadly there for the reigning champion, losing traction and losing position to the number 111 of Toehill and slowing on the exit of that as well. And O'Donovan, the race leaders into the gravel. I don't believe it. Off goes Seller as well. Goodness me, what drama at the start of lap two. The race leader, Ollie O'Donovan, has thrown it all away. And now Steve Hill leads the way. God, could you ask for any more drama in the, in the uh, supercars here? at Knock Hill, so it's Hill that leads the way from Ovenden, from Ollie O'Donovan then, as they come through into the final series of corners once more. Absolutely unbelievable. We only caught the back end of what happened there to Ollie O'Donovan, but that is absolutely huge. Maybe he lost it on the painted part of the curve. It's really slippery down through there. You can see how shiny it is. It's very greasy, very wet. And as such, there's not a lot of grip at all. And either way, Steve Hill looks like he could be on for a win here if he keeps it in the straight and narrow. Sadly, Mike Sellers' race has ended very early in the gravel trap at that second corner at Duffer's Dip, and he'll be very disappointed with that because it's not the first time he's been in there so far here today. Good to see that Robert Spittles did manage to get going after uh, pretty much a non-start. He didn't move away at all, and Mark Donnelly has retired also from this race, so we're two drivers down already, and we're only at the halfway stage here at Knock Hill as Hill comes over the timing line once again to start lap four. And he's pulling out an advantage, actually, over Tristan Ovenden as well. 1.9 seconds it sits at between the top two. So that's a very welcome sight there for Steve Hill. 71 years old he is, I remind you, as well. The oldest competitor by some margin in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship, at least in the supercars category. And now he is on for a very promising result here, as O'Donovan has also dropped back as well, now behind Roberts Vittel. So what has happened to Oli O'Donovan here? Was it a technical problem that's robbed him of victory here? Either way, now Roberts Vittel goes joker as he pulls out from behind Tristan Ovenden into the hairpin bend they go. So Roberts Vittel here, despite not getting away at all at the start, could be on for a net podium finish if it stays as it is through the gravel, they, uh, through, the, through the cement dust, I should say, owing to an earlier engine problem for one of our competitors here at Knock Hill. He goes out of the joker lap. He's made his already, doesn't have to worry about that. As Ovenden gets it a bit sideways and a bit wide through those first series of corners there. So, well, this is very interesting indeed. So through into the final series of corners, there's Mike Sellers' stricken Citroen C at DS3, as I mentioned earlier on in this race. There is Steve Hill, though, the race leader, coming through into the Joker then for the final time and taking out cones there is Ovenden. I think he was just a bit target fixated on the back of Steve Hill there and made a very late decision to not Joker, of course, because uh, Ovenden uh, is going to do it at the end of the last lap. So a last-minute change in strategy then for Tristan Ovenden. We know that Robert Spittles, who is now sitting uh, in the de facto race lead, has already uh, made his Joker, so he is on for a net podium and finish if it stays as it is but let's see what is going to happen here and uh, wait and find out how it's all going to play out then there is Ollie O'Donovan in second position now as Steve Hill's made his joker so he's dropped back behind him and spins on the exit of T2 oh Steve Hill he's thrown a podium away at the end of this race that's a, such a shame for the Mitsubishi Evo 10 driver then and what an absolutely phenomenal race it's been. Roberts Vittles then out of the final corner and over the line. He just kept his nose clean and despite not making it at the start, wins the final for round four of the supercars here at Knock Hill, ahead of Ollie O'Donovan, ahead of Steve Hill, ahead of Tristan Ovenden, and then ahead 
uh, of, uh, in fact, of, apologies, of, ahead of Ovenden and ahead of Towhill, who now inherits fourth position, with Steve Hill finishing right down the order owing to that spin. Mike Seller, of course, sadly not making the chequered flag as a result of that gravel trap excursion, the car needing to be recovered by the marshals here. But Robert Spittles then, well, he kept his powder dry, kept his nose clean at the end of that race, and that's all he needed to do, really. He benefited from other people's misfortune and, of course, from having great pace once he got going as well. Sad for Ollie O'Donovan ending up in the gravel at that first corner. That cost him a chance of the win in the final for round four here in the supercars. Such a shame to end the race under those circumstances. But once again, huge congratulations to Robert Vittles, who wins round four, taking his second win of the season in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.